Right, before we get into it, let's get the important things out of the way. What are you drinking? Uh, I've got a uh, Peroni. Oh, okay. High calibre, like that. Yeah, Class. yeah. Bit of posh down in. So you've taken a while for that distance. No offence. But then I looked. <laughs> then then yeah. I looked at your, your profile and I was like, the bugger's only got one leg. The trouble is I keep going out in circles. <laughs> I, I thought I'd broken it and it was tucked underneath. My knee had gone into his headlight and... So he'd stopped and it was just a sort of sheer reaction. And so uh, it, it was an amputation basically at your knee, wasn't it? Straight away, yeah. Because he put drips in my arms, which probably what while well, I'm here. I think I lost six six points of blood or something. You lost six? Yeah. Very nearly didn't make it. Yeah. Wow. So, so that that basically sent you down a different path in life then. I mean yeah. how 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 did life change after that? Yeah, it was, bit, it was a bit... Um... Sorry, mate, I've just heard myself say that question and you think... <laughs> Sorry. How, how do you think life changed after that? 21, you kind of think, you know, like girlfriends. That's going to be a bit weird. What does an artificial leg even look like? I didn't even know. You know, I've never mm-hmm. seen one. So that's the... So you can... Right, so we've got a little bit of background to you then. How about... Uh, we'll just do... The, I'll do the usual. We'll go onto the social media, onto Patreon yeah. and all the other things. Um, we'll just start going through folks' questions and see where it takes us. What else do you want to achieve in the future such that when the time comes, you can say without any regrets, I live my life? I quite fancy doing a skydive. I think you have to be 100 kilos or less. I always weigh myself with my leg on, simply yeah. because I, I can't stand still enough on the scales for them to register. <laughs> no, I did scuba diving for a bit. There was a pin in the ankle and you could pull the pin out, rotate the foot so it goes pointy yeah and then push the pin back in so it locked it broke that leg on a jet ski leaping up a wave <laughs> after your accident how long before you got back on a bike i think it was about two months because i've got my leg my, uh, two so months sort of walk. yeah if i just went oh the sensible thing is not to ride anymore but i want to i'll always have that yearning yeah but yeah, yeah, I got on it. I loved it. That's when I went to the motorbike shop, and I went in there with the best intentions of buying something commutery, upright. <laughs> Go on, yeah. what'd you get? Uh, as Kawasaki ZX10 B1. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing I fancy having a go. Is the BMW off-road school? Um, Do you? Yeah, well, BMW. Think... If you're watching this, <laughs> that's my colour. Yeah, the, so, the one, the, the picture of you that had like the Christmas tree lights, all the different lights. And stuff. Is that it? Yeah, there yeah, it is. There. Yeah. And we'd walk down to this pub and we came out and we had to walk up a little lane. And I thought, oh, oh I'll switch my lights on so it's a bit more <laughs> visible. And then this voice out of the darkness went, mate, that's awesome. <laughs> People have that dream bike if they win the lottery. If you won the lottery, is there like a, yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. there a leg yeah. that you would go yeah, for? Yeah, yeah. What's that one? There's, um, it's a, it's called a Genium X3, and it's um, it's a microprocessor, but it's waterproof, and you can run with it, and you can go upstairs with it. I can only go down normally. I have to go up one at a time. What's that called? <laughs> uh, Genium X3. It's made by Otto Bock. Otto Bock. So it's, Come it's, on, people. Otto yeah. Bock. Otto Bock, then, reach out. Let's make this happen. Well, you, you've got uh, the beard for a pirate, so you know. <laughs>